Hello, I just want to welcome us back to this tutorial. On this particular tutorial, we'll be learning how to create this particular design here. So without wasting much of our time, let's dive into our design. So our design, to start, we'll be selecting a frame and I will be using a MacBook Pro 14. So with this, I can increase the height of this directly. I'll be doing that from here to one four thousand. So after adding that, we'll be creating a splash screen or a background. So this would cover from the top down to the bottom of our screen. Then I will be changing this to F A F A F A, which is my background color. So from here we can rename this rectangle to our BG. Some people will call it a splash screen. So I will lock this. So after that, I would create my navigational bar. So we are in the navigational bar here. So quickly. This would cover from here down to here, my background. And this will be having a color of CB, CB, then D2, and E4. So this would be our color here. So after having this, because I'll be doing designs here, I will just lock this and rename this to hero bg so here i can decide to now add my logo so i'll be creating a logo here for this project so but before i do that i think i'll prefer to create another section here that is i want to use this to align my navigational icon but when i'm done i'm going to delete this so the next thing we need to add for this is our grid. So to add a grid, we're going to select the frame. And on my right hand side, we have the layout grid. And we click on this. So clicking on that, I get a graph like feeling on my frame, but I'm going to change that from grid to columns. And then here I will specify that I need 12 columns. And on my auto layout, I'll specify I'm on 120. So that is the settings we'll be using. So once you're done using this grid, if you want to hide it, there is this icon here that we can click to hide the grid and then click to bring it back. So I would bring out my grid here, but for you to see that you must highlight the MacBook Pro 14, that's our frame. So I will be adding a logo here so i will hold shift and then i will try to align that here so let me quickly just change that to a random color that we will be picking later so i have this i can duplicate this to create something like this so i will also change this color to something random here so we're going to pick a different color once we start so the next thing we want to do is I would add a text here, which is about, about, so let's zoom out, about, this text would be of size, I set that to 20, see, size 20, and then our background color or the text color, we're going to give it a navy blue color. So I will be changing that here to two, 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 then five, four. So that will be the color we'll be using for our text. So I can duplicate this, Ctrl D, to create a contact. Contact. Then I'll also duplicate that. Contact, Ctrl D, to create services services I'll duplicate this also 
to create okay some of the work they've done work so having this now i could just quickly drag them here no i'm not trying to align but uh, you can do that so, okay we're having this also something like this so i want to create two buttons one for the login and then one for the sign up so i will just quickly create a button here so this button will have a white background so i will just pick a white background here so i have a white background this will be my login button login so i will make this a little bit thick So I'll make that medium. So please, I would also change my fonts. I want to use popping throughout the project. So I would want to center this. So I will highlight this and also select this. So from here, I would align that horizontally and then align that vertically. So once this is aligned, all I need to do is to group them with the word, the, the key control G or command G. If your MacBook. So I can duplicate this to create the sign up page to sign up. So I can also align this to the center so I can drag this. So but I want to change the color of this to our initial navy blue I added, which is this 2222 then 5 4 so I'll change the text also to white so we have something like this so what I want to do is I want to push this to the edge to make sure that it's aligned with this then I will also align this item with this maybe give it some spacing then we have this other item here so I want to make sure that all of these are aligned together so for me to be able to do that, I would just select one, two, three, four. So I'll make sure they are aligned with these buttons. So at this point, I believe they are aligned with these buttons. So I want to share the space in between them. So I will select this other two, one, two. So we're going to space them in between so that we can have even spaces between each of these items. So I will push this to the edge here so this is a line so i'm going to select uh, these three four options and make sure i'm changing the fonts to poppins here so after changing that to poppins i will still readjust this and then i would make sure this is medium not regular medium so we have this item so so far to see whatever i've done i can click on the macbook and then try to hide the sorry i'll try to hide the layout so if we try hiding the layout so from here the rectangle here this one the gray one you know we agreed that i am just keeping that for the alignment i'm going to remove that so if i should remove that we have this for our design so i think i can change this to white we'll change that to white and I will also change this pink to uh, navy blue, which is this color here. So I have this for my logo. So the next thing I want to do is I want to create some text here. So I would add the text, the perfect touch, perfect touch. So having this text, the perfect touch. I would just make that a little bit um, semi bold, the perfect touch. So I would add an X intro here. So let's do this. Okay, this is a line. So I would say we create designs. We create design. <coughs> so I'm going to increase this or set that to let's say 60. Let's see how big this looks. Okay. This doesn't look bad. We create designs. So I'll please I'll add another text again here. Designs beyond your 
so this I would make that to light to change that to light beyond your so I would also align that here then I would add a text here I would add a word imagination I want to spell that with a lowercase imagination so I would also let's check the style here semi bold because we want to make this uh, bold so I will also change this from lit to semi bold here so can we just try to make that an extra bold let's see how this look it's too thick so I will stick with the bold here would also be bold so I think we can increase the text size and I think this still looks great like this so we have this and I'll just make sure the spacing in between them is the same so I can just select this three and then use the icon here to make sure that the space between them is the same so once I'm okay with this I can just group them with the control G here so the next part I want to create is some um, random text so I will be adding some random text here so to do that I would click on the text icon and then I would quickly type whatever I want to so here we design offices come our restaurant restaurants come our hotels come our houses so I can break them and the event centers so uh designs those are minimal minimal and we follow the latest trends so I would automatically reduce the size of this to 20 <laughs> so this is 20 and uh, Okay, we have that then I'll be adding two more buttons so from the button I can duplicate these two buttons here that we're having control D duplicate it and I'll drag that to this particular section of our page so here I would change this to read more read more by doing this for this particular rectangle I'll be increasing the width of this rectangle so maybe 160 so I'll change that to 160 so and the read more we're going to be changing the text to this navy blue so I'll pick this so the same thing for this I'll double click to pick the rectangle make sure you're picking the rectangle and we're going to change the width to 60 160 so i'll also drag this and then align this here so we have this will be changed to get started get started so let me adjust that a little okay it's at the center here so i can see the arrow so this is at the center so we can group this to selected country g we can just name it button group btn group so we are done with that so these are text here the text we also want to change this once everything here to the navy blue so the field would be one two 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 five four enter so all our text have been changed to navy blue so the next thing I want to add here is my images so I would create a rectangle here so this rectangle should cover everywhere I see to this level so I'll make sure it's aligned to the first text here okay then I would drag this a little so I'll shift this to making sure that it's aligned so I can duplicate this and then drag this here 
to make sure that it is aligned with this yeah so we want to pick an image that we can use so i would be using the plugin on splash on splash we can run on splash so while it's loading we are going to look for sofa sofa so on the sofa i would be picking this first one here so i'll click on this i'll place this image and i would also click on this portion and then i'll place this image here the same image please we're placing it on two of the rectangle so what i want us to do is if i select this i'm going to fill and select the image so what i want us to do is on this view we're going to select crop so once you you can shift this hold shift on your keyboard and then the direction which is the right i'm pushing this right so once i get the first starting edge of this i can just close this here means i'm okay i'll do the same thing for this or click on the fill and then i will choose the crop here then this time i'm going left you can hold the shift to move faster to get this other end here so closing this now just makes the chair looks like it's just one chair that is our whole design concept so i'm going to pick a rectangle here and then try to drag whatever i'm having here so here i would just change this to white i will change this to white change this to white then i also want to add some designs here so i'm going to lock this frame then pick a design a shape here so I'll pick a frame here so I will also change this color to white so after changing this to white we can now do whatever we want so I would duplicate this so I'll create another one on this white another shape on the white so if I create this so I will be changing this to a color a blue color so this would be 00 B4 FF enter here so with this new background, what we want to do here is, I want us to search for sofa, but we're going to be using flat icons. So visit your browser and search for flat icons on Google. So I'll be selecting this first option here. So I will search for sofa. I will search for sofa here. So far, so that depends on your internet connection, the speed. It should display some list of sofa for you. So I would be picking this particular sofa. So you don't have to download this. You can copy this to your clipboard. So I'll go back to Figma and. Uh, I want to do some alignment here so I think I would change this color to this and then this to white I'm swapping the colors so I can paste my image here just control V and then I would want to resize it so I can lock this and then resize it to so let's say 40 if I resize that to 40 you can use something bigger so let's just increase that to so 50 so why I'm having even because my increment is even is because this portion is locked. So whatever I'm changing, if I change this to 60, automatically the other side changes to 62 because it is locked. So I can align this here. 
So I could just say we're giving 20% discount. 20% discount. Discount. Yeah. So I can resize this back to let's say 20. And uh, 20 seems too big here again. So we can go 15. And uh, I have this. Shouldn't be bold. I just wanted medium 20% discount on all so far. So 20% discounts. I think I could still edit this on all so far. It just pick this 20% discounts on all so far. So I can place this at the center and then try to align this in this format here. So I have this here. So the next thing I want to do here is I want to also style this section. So I would pick um, this particular rectangle and then cover that. I'll cover this portion and then I'll pick this color. Use that here. Then we can look for effects and then say we have over one seven eight two happy clients happy clients clients so please here we should add a plus sign here to balance everything so I have this number of happy clients I can make this area on 18 this looks good so I can select the two and then align them together center and then horizontally so we have this yeah so we can add four more items so we can give maybe 35 awards 35 awards and we can add another one again 395 houses with design houses then we can add maybe for hotels with design 780 five hotels and uh, we can also have maybe so let's look at the spacing one two three i think that should be enough so let me just try to align this with this. Yeah, just keep this here. Just keep this here. So let me make sure that the spacing in between them is the same. So we have this, and then let's make sure it's aligned with this. So we can group this item control G. Then we can also group this two together. Control G. Then we can group everything together. This, this, and then this. So I should have this group selected. This, then this. Control G. So we have our items all selected. So the next thing we need to add here is a search bar. So the search bar, okay, not actually a search bar, a subscribe button. So we can just create a subscribe section. Yeah. subscribe now everything is aligned so good so I can I'll change this to white and then I could just perform a subscribe so I would add a text here enter your email so for this enter your email here what I want to do is let's change the opacity to 50. We change that to 50. And I also want to play with this height. Okay, the height is great. I just want to play with the weed so that I can add my button here. Enter your email. So what we just create another button here. Which will be subscribe. Just make sure they're touching each other same height okay 
so I want to make sure that it's aligned with the text at the top so I would put the word subscribe here inside subscribe subscribe this is like at the center of this and then I'm changing this color to this and then my text would be white white and then a font size I think we can just work with a semi bold and we have something like this this is also at the center of this so I think uh, having this I just need to add a text here so we can just say subscribe to our newsletter subscribe to our newsletter newsletter here so having this now I can look at this my whole hero BG so that's a like, second thing we added in the hero BG I would unlock that and try to resize it because I think I'm done with the design so I'll try to resize it so here I'll also try to cover the space here in between the perfect touch here I'll try to push this we don't want too much space in there but also here I'll just push it so I can select this two group three groups one two three for all the shift please so let's select them and make sure the space in between them is the same so we have something like this here and then it is newsletter you also want to reduce the opacity of this to 50 we are reducing the opacity to 50 tell the user to subscribe to our newsletter so we can um, actually start the next section of this page so what i think we'll be doing that in our next video so we'll stop here for today and we continue on the next